Hi guys, thanks for joining me again on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to talk about printers and how to repair the problem of paper not feeding correctly. You know, once we use our printers for a while, after feeding it a lot of expensive ink and babying it, all of a sudden it's not pushing paper through it anymore and it starts wrinkling, it starts beeping at us. Oh, you want to beat the thing to death. Well, let's take a look at a very simple way, something that you can do within a few minutes and possibly solve your printer feeding problems. Stay tuned. So all laser printers, new or old, pretty much work the same. And the problem with the laser printers is a lot of the paper dust eventually gets on the rollers and glazes the rollers to the point where it's not gripping the paper anymore. So um, it's going to definitely vary how you take your machine apart. But generally, if you're having trouble picking up the paper out of the paper feed system, directly under, on top of this paper tray, there's going to be some rubber rollers right up under here. And those rubber rollers grip this paper and then push it into the system. So what you're looking for is a method to get to the rollers on top and you might have to consult your book for this. Now my system just pulls out and then there is several latches here on the sides that you have to pull to remove it the rest of the way. Before I take, take it out the rest of the way, I begin cleaning the upper part any rubber rollers that I see or metal that um, look like they come in contact with the printer paper itself I'll use the alcohol swabs such as this and I just wipe them and then I roll them slightly and just do that until you've gone all the way around the roller and it's not a bad idea to also come in here and clean up the dirt and the dust from the paper. Paper has a way of putting a sheen on everything and that's what causes the, the printer to fail. Um, hopefully you can see this rubber roller. Let's see if I can. Right here there's a gear and then there's a rubber roller. So that's one of them and I just take a cotton pad, open it up, and begin, you know, just simply wiping it. And look at all that dirt. And that is a mixture of old toner as well as paper dust. And I will hold on to the gear like this and start turning it and wiping it at the same time until all that glaze comes off there and you might have to do this um, several times and, and keep using new pads to do it with eventually you're going to get all the glaze off there and these rubber rollers will pick up a lot better my printer has two catch releases here on the sides and if you squeeze in you can pull out the entire roller mechanism And on the bottom of my roller mechanism are these big fat rollers. And these are what are responsible for grabbing the paper with friction and then pushing it up into the system. And this is normally what becomes very slick with paper dust and dirt. And this is the main problem. So use your alcohol pads on these. If you cannot figure out how to remove this from your printer, you can always work upside down with a mirror and um, clean it that way if you don't feel comfortable about taking it apart. Now, 
Um, we talked about there we go. We've not only does this work for laser printers, but it will also work for inkjet printers too. So this is just a little tidbit here to get your paper in your printer feeding again, especially if you have a lot of uh, paper impressions and you've used your printer for a long time. This printer has been around for many impressions and I expect it to last for many more. So that's it for the quick tutorial on cleaning your paper feed rollers. Like I said in the video, uh, this just doesn't work for laser printers. It can also uh, be used for inkjet printers as well. So if it's a rubber roller, it's safe to clean with alcohol. Don't worry about that. Now you might want to unplug yours first. If you're not comfortable around electricity, it's probably a good idea anyway. So uh, good luck with your uh, printer cleaning, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.